Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Monday the 2nd of March 2020. Corona crash sparks fastest correction in history on record breaking volume. This is uh, for the whole of last week and it certainly did escalate uh, very quickly. Looking at uh, the daily chart, uh, we see uh, the buyers coming in on Friday. This is more likely to be the shorts taking profits. And then overnight, uh, we've seen the market boosted as well with the prospects of a potential rate cut and uh, easing by the Fed and also the classic dead cat uh, bounce as well. So let's just have a switch and switch to the implied uh, volatility for a second so you can see why this is going on. We've got a, an increase of just under a hundred percent from where the market started to uh, move lower. You can see the drop there last week and the rise in the implied volatility. So at this level, as I've said before, you can expect to see some sort of uh, uh, a bounce in the market as the froth comes out of the uh, implied volatility is perfectly normal and uh, this happens uh, all the time before you then get uh, a second uh, correction and spike you can see uh, you see the correction there and then you get a second dip you get a correction there you get the second dip there we only had the one but as I mentioned to you before in these areas they were doing their best to stop the market correcting let alone uh, allowing it to correct twice in any uh, move so yeah the implied volatility is uh, pointing to uh, a potential correction uh, in the market if uh, the Fed will come in and uh, back the uh, move as well of course so on Friday the market uh, was in a zigzag pattern uh, of a range uh, a massive range uh, I might add if we uh, have a look it started out uh, at uh, 469 points and then the moves just got uh, uh, bigger there 700 range and then you can see it zigzagging uh, through this as uh, the session went on got a retracement there 76 percent there it didn't pull back as much there are either double tops or retracements of 76 percent as it made its way through the whole session and then at the end uh, the market uh, managed to uh, rally up uh, a good 800 points or more actually it's more than that um, let's just have a look from the low to the close yeah 986 points on uh, the last hour of the market on friday uh, opened with a gap last night and has then since uh, managed to rally over 800 points uh, on the overnight not seen that uh, before and now the market's uh, sideways but sideways in a range of uh, 200 uh, points which is uh, very nice to trade uh, when you've got that sort of uh, range on the overnight there's no doubts about that you don't have to wait until 2:30. let's put it that way for the market to open and add a bit more uh, volatility to the uh, prices uh, news today not that the market's going to take any notice uh, of uh, news let me just clear these other things out of the way uh, we've got uh, ism manufacturing today that's all there is out but like i say that's really going to be the least of the market's concerns it's going to be more it's going to be more interested in uh, new cases of the coronavirus uh, other news for the week though we'll have a quick look uh, carney's out speaking this week he's the the main uh, protagonist as far as the market is concerned interestingly enough last week he was talking of uh, the effect of the coronavirus having an impact on the GDP they really do have their get out of jail card now with the coronavirus they can let this deflate and they can all all central bankers can blame it on the uh, coronavirus it couldn't be any better for them no, no finger pointing nobody saying that their economic policies were at the 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 reason for the fall in prices it's the, the perfect excuse for all central bankers and of course they can manipulate rates and do whatever they want with a perfectly uh, viable excuse now and um yeah let's um have a look at the uh, weekly chart uh, you can see this uh, bouncing too and the monthly chart as well at the moment we'll see how much uh, it will continue uh, to uh, bounce there and that's uh, about it I think I don't think there's much else to say uh, apart from be careful on the short side 
because uh, I wouldn't be at all surprised if Powell and Co come out and uh, reduce rates without waiting for a uh, official meeting. That's for sure. I've seen them do that before, where they've all phoned each other and then moved into the markets as well. So if you start to see a sudden surge to the upside, that's what it's going to be. There's going to be a concerted and coordinated effort by all central bankers to bring the market uh, back. Okay, that will do it uh, for this one. If there is anything else to report, I will let you know, but I expect the volatility to continue for a bit longer. And with that, uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.